In this video, we're gonna be taking a look at these, the very bright Puma Forever Run Nitro. What is up everybody and welcome to Stability Shoe HQ here at 40 runs and if you didn't know I do run occasionally uh, quite a lot actually in a stability shoe usually one of the runs a week I do tend to run in a stability shoe um, my left leg I, I pronate quite heavily and particularly when I'm tired my pronation really comes out which is why I feel like I'm in a good position to review some of these stability shoes now this is a mild stability shoe this is a guidance shoe from Puma it's pretty awesome actually because they've they've tried to have a, a, a redesign and a re-go at guidance and stability shoe um design for us um us yeah i suppose so stability shoe wearers okay so disclaimer obviously i've sent the shoe uh, i'm not getting paid for review you can get the shoe at startfitness.co.uk get 10 percent using the code 40 rounds i don't get paid for that uh but yeah i sent the shoe i'm not getting paid to make the video i don't have a script don't have to say nice things i'll never just say nice things because i've been told to uh, i won't review a shoe on that um, obviously not a journalist, so I don't have to write a review or do anything like that. I think that's about it in terms of this games. I think hopefully by now you know 40 runs, uh, how it all works. Okay, right, so £140 here in the UK. Uh, we've got two layers of, of nitro foam. We've actually got a slightly softer version up uh, around the foot. We've got a bit of power tape uh, down the medial side to offer support. Uh, we've got the run guide system. Now, this run guide system is a guidance system um, from Puma. It's it's a stiffer heel counter. Um, they played around with the um, layout of the outsole as well. Very much like, oh, have I got them? Oh, tight. So look, Socony guide. See where they put it on the medial side? Um, and it's, it's yeah, it's, it's, they put it down the lateral side, but it's the way they're using the, uh, the outsole and, and the guidance system to help with some of that guidance in the shoe. Uh, it's more of a support shoe. We've got a custom authentic, uh, authentic insole. Don't remember if I said that right. That was designed specifically to aid the runner. That's in there. Um, like I said about the power run tape to add support in the upper. We've got a stiffer heel counter, which is good. Um, I think that's probably about it. Oh, a 10 mil drop, 10.4 ounces, 295 grams, 36 mil stack apparently. Uh, a pull tab on the back, which is great. Uh, fit true to size. And yeah, I think you've probably got all the stats and features. Right, so that was very quick and very badly done, but hopefully you get the gist of it. So basically, Puma are giving us this run guide system to try and give us um, some mild stability and help in terms of you know the pronation issues that we may or may not have. It's a, it's a wide platform, which is good. Um, if you compare it against the Socony, it's a little bit wider across the forefoot, see that? Uh, which is kind of cool. But yeah, it's definitely got sort of, um, seeing that um more width to it uh, in terms of the fit actually it's very good um the, the upper is quite weird it, it looks like it's going to be warm but it's not uh there's plenty of air that travels through that so that's good news don't necessarily feel the weight of the 10.4 ounces i think as a stability shoe it's coming in quite a nice way um it is a very noisy shoe <laughs> it really you get a lot of that when you're running along in it, which is a bit annoying. Uh, but there's some very, very good things going on here. Okay, so uh, just as a heads up, this is a first impressions video. I think we're about 20 something miles in the shoe. That's a rough guess, okay? Uh, but I wanted to wait a little bit instead of rushing it out and doing all that sort of stuff. I wanted to wait until we got to that 20 mile-ish mark um, to put the video out, which I think is a good thing. Um, but yeah, so I found it um, better than expected. So when it came through, the first thing I was thinking was, Jesus, it's bright, which I don't necessarily have a problem with. Look at my Ultra Boost 23s. But um, it was, it just, it felt like there was a lot going on here. Um, but actually, it rides really nice. Now, if you've not had a Puma shoe uh, recently, the Nitro Foam is a real joy, actually. It's, a, it's just a nicely balanced, responsive midsole compound that they have on the shoes, combined with a fantastic outsole in Puma Grip um, that allows a... A really yeah just a balanced shoe it just feels good um, you can pick the pace up in the shoe you know it's a it's, uh, it's not heavy at all but you know it's it's a it's a, a lot of shoe but you can feel you know you can feel that pace coming towards you so one of the runs I did was at 830 per mile which is goal pace for me and it felt absolutely fine although noisy 
I like the fit, I like the lacing, um, I like the 36 mil stack height, that's just enough for me in terms of the nitro foam, I think any more than you could start wobbling about. You don't feel the guidance system in sort of impacting your ride, some of these stability shoes, um, you know, you can feel some of that plastic and some of the inserts and posts in and all this sort of stuff, don't feel any of that. Yes, this is very mild in terms of stability, but you compare this to an A6 GT 2011, it's like night and day. You've got like 1990 in terms of tech from A6, and then you've got 2023. And I think that's such a good comparison that Puma are going down a, a different path to try and find cool ways. Like I said, the orthotic insole, um, you know, to try and work on that side of things to put this run guide system in there that's not overly intrusive versus what A6 did with the GT 2000, which is like running on concrete. So I think they've done very well, actually. Um, I don't think it's the, um, the prettiest shoe I've ever seen from Puma. I think they do, uh, I'll try it. Now that, that's a bad example. Um, oh, here we go. That's a better example. Uh, but they do, they do do some nice shoes. I, I, again, everybody's different in terms of the looks, and I think this will probably look better in a different color. But overall, I think they, they've done very well with this, actually, in terms of reinventing it. Uh, I, I really like the feeling of the nitro foam. I really like the ride. I really like the setup. It's a, it's a nice shoe to run easy in. Uh, it's probably a nice shoe to go um, proper long in as well. If you, if you need a, a stability or mild stability shoe for those longer miles, uh, this could be a good option. Uh, I've not ever put any sort of big miles in it because I'm in that point now in my marathon training where I'm using the shoes that I need to use. Um, but it'd be interesting to know if you have like done a 16, 18, 20 miler in this, I'd be very interested to know how you found it. Uh, what else? I like the comfort around the heel. Um, it's just enough. It's not over the top. They could have, you know, some of these stability shoes, again, they go mental in terms of the padding and the foam. Interesting enough, I know you guys are going to ask me about the Tempest versus this. I think for me, the Tempest is a little bit better. It's just got a little bit more zest about it. It's got a little bit more giddy up about it that's not to say this is a bad shoe in any shape or form because the nitro foam really responds well but that's a personal preference the only thing is i would say is if you struggle with the tempest because of the high arch then this is probably the next best shoe to look at but again it's not light so it's not going to like you know make you feel incredibly awesome but it's going to do a very good job for you in terms of that mild stability if that's what you're after if you're after that bit of guidance or you're after like you know where sometimes i wear a guidance shoe is on those recovery days where your legs are all beaten up and spat out and you are you know moving about and pronating and you want something that's just gonna give you that little bit of a helping hand down in your feet this could be a good option Right, so that's it. Uh, first impressions, £140. I think it's well priced. Like I said, you can get 10% off uh, using the code 40 runs over at startfitness.co.uk. It's definitely worth smashing the life out of that and if you're going to get a pair of these. I don't know whether I still really like the orange. I, can't, I went for a big period of time buying orange shoes. I don't know why that was. But yeah, I'm not really feeling the orange. I think this would look like kind of awesome in black. That would be a very good looking shoe but anyway yes so thumbs up um first impressions for this uh, the forever run nitro i do think it's worth a look i think it's an interesting step in which they've made puma again hitting a home run in terms of where they're going with their running shoes um and yeah so we'll report back we'll do a performance review i'll try and get something longer in it in terms of um 16 18 or 20 miles to see what it's like over that sort of you know marathon training long run um because i think this could be uh, an interesting shout for somebody who does need a little bit of guidance uh, while you're out doing a marathon training. But there we go. Yeah, okay, right, very interesting, actually. Very, very interesting.